alive. It's alive. It's alive! Okay, maybe I got a little bit carried away there, but for good reason. I believe that is the future of home backup power and is something easily accessible to you guys, especially compared to building something complicated from scratch. It will keep your essentials running during a blackout and you won't have to listen to a noisy generator. Portable power stations are the first step to real home backup power. Trust me, we live fully off grid for five years. That's why I teamed up with EcoFlow today to show you how you can power your home through a blackout with no fuel, no fumes, and no hassle. Let me show you what this baby can do. As you longtime subscribers know, our power goes out quite a lot. And during this past winter, we had a huge outage over two weeks long. That meant that friends and neighbors ran generators the entire time just to keep their refrigerators going. And I don't know if you know, but winter is here now. When a blackout hits, the first thing on our mind is communications. In our case, that's Starlink and internet because we basically have no cell service here. Plus, the last time we had a blackout, the cellular network went completely down, which is something that can happen. Starlink usually pulls 30 to 50 watts, depending on the conditions. Let's see how long the Delta 3 Max Plus can keep this going. We can come to the back DC output right here and turn it on. I don't know why I took off my jacket before coming outside, but anyway. Actually, something I was really surprised about with the Delta 3 Max Plus is it can operate between minus 20 degrees Celsius and 45 degrees Celsius. I don't see normal batteries or power stations doing that. Ask me how I know. We have four different battery stations here on our homestead and we live in an area that goes down to minus 40 degrees Celsius. That's minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit as well, by the way. And that is very cold and batteries do not like cold. The network is fully up and running. We're at 23 watts, which means we have a whopping 2.8 days of running that Starlink. Later on, I'll share a really smart feature that you can use between the EcoFlow and the Starlink. It's what we currently do here on our household and it works great, so make sure you stick around for that. <laughs> Speaking of the cold, this can do something that generators can't. Because it has automotive grade lithium iron phosphate batteries inside, it's completely safe to run indoors. You cannot do that with generators. And yet every year people do. I just pulled out the fridge to get the plug and I found a spoon, a dog leash, and look, a tomato. So after communications, the next thing you want to do is be able to power your fridge. You don't want food spoiling, plus um, you want to be able to eat as well. So I'm going to plug into the front 120 volt plug here and I'm going to turn on AC control and on the output here, oh, it's chiming on. On the output here, we'll see how much power it's going to draw and how long it'll run. Now, after 10 minutes of letting the compressor spool up and everything, I expected the percentage of the battery to drop and it hasn't. I'm, I'm genuinely surprised. We are currently able to run this fridge for one and a half days a full-size refrigerator. This is where a two kilowatt unit really shines. Not only is it sitting on our countertop right next to where it needs to go to power, but we don't even have any power going into it yet to recharge. It's only running off of its battery storage and it still can do it for a day and a half. And you may be thinking, that's not a lot of power. Run something with lots of power. So let's use one of these stupid little ceramic heaters. Well, it's pumping out a lot of heat right now, but 900 watts isn't nearly what this thing can handle. Let's go to the shop and plug in some stuff there. The tools in the shop built our tiny home, so there's got to be something that we can use to put this to the real test. Let's start with a compressor. Around a thousand watts, so still no problem. The Delta 3 can do 3000 watts. But the Max Plus, this version, can do 3,800 watts surge. So let's throw on some more stuff. All right, this has got to do it. A thirsty old skill saw, a thirsty old grinder, plus the compressor, plus a battery charger, all going at once. Let's give it a test. First, the compressor. 1,000 watts. Now this should give it a lot. Eighteen hundred watts. Now the grinder. 
2,000 watts, 2,200 watts, and it still has no problem. Okay, if you were impressed before, you have to be now. Anyone who knows these old motors know that their surge draw is massive. The amount of power that they need to use to start the motor going. This didn't hiccup once while everything else was running. We've used a ton of power stations in our life off grid and not one of them could have done what this thing just did. I keep saying it to my wife, Logan, the past couple days, every time I do something new on this EcoFlow, I'm really impressed. Before I show you the really cool Starlink hack, yeah, it's really cold right now, I wanna show you something else. The majority of our life spent off grid was in the van, but also here on the property. In van life, your number one things are your lights, your fans, your heater, and water pump. And if we're starting van life all over again, instead of building out a battery system, I probably would just grab a Delta three like this because on the back, you can easily charge the unit via solar and alternator at the same time. Plus you also have an Anderson connector. That means not only can this power all your major systems, lights, fans, heaters, and water pump, but it's already all built. You don't have to do anything. It's just plug and play. And that way it's portable and you can use it for more than just the van. I love our generators and they're still great for massive loads, but for most people running fridges, Wi-Fi, and maybe even a space heater is best done with a unit a fraction of the size, fits inside and runs quieter than a fridge. That's why this is the future of backup power in homes. The smart feature I mentioned earlier for the Delta 3 Max Plus and Starlink is using it as a UPS or an uninterruptible power supply. That means the power supply can feed power from the outlet in your wall. Then when the power goes out, it'll automatically switch over to battery power and supply it within 10 milliseconds. That means the Starlink won't be interrupted and the internet will continue to work. Can I also say that I charge this unit to 100% from 29% in just 60 minutes? To give you a comparison, our other power station that we really love, different brand, takes five hours and is half the capacity of this two kilowatt version. Just something that I was impressed by worth noting. You can also control it remotely via the app and you can control outlets specifically. I'll turn on this one. That's the wrong one. <laughs> I'll turn on this one. And that would be a really handy feature when the unit's just out of reach. And storm guard mode can auto charge the power station when there's storms on the way. And for extended outages, you can actually scale up the capacity of this battery using this port here. This is two kilowatts and you can scale it up to 10 kilowatts. That's something a gas generator can't do either. I guess the question isn't, is it better than a generator? The question is, what kind of backup do you really need? For us, this works great because there's no fuel needed, no maintenance needed. Plus it's entirely portable. We can take it with us wherever we go or leave it here as home backup. Also, I did a ton of shooting behind the scenes and testing that you guys just didn't see during filming all day today. And we started at 96% battery. Check out what we're at now. I'm continually impressed by this thing and it has my respect. If you wanna check them out, links below and you can use my code for an extra 5% off on top of the Black Friday deal. EcoFlow is the world's number one portable power station brand in sales with industry leading best battery tech and top tier safety and smart modular systems. EcoFlow gives you the peace of mind when the grid goes down. Thank you guys so much for watching to this point in the video and all your continued support. Uh, Sadie is wanting to have this be done. Okay, see ya Sadie. Uh, if you're looking for any more battery videos, anything like that on the homestead, I've got a playlist linked here and I will see you on the next video.